front of the Sony building. It's your boy Madman. You already tuning in Spade TV. You know what it is when you see my face. Like I tell you all the time. I'm about to get a pop with my man Bum B. We over here. I'm a little tired. Let's go do this. <laughs> Man, man, you watch the Spade TV, you already know what it is. You see my face, and we here with my man Bun B, straight out of Texas. What's poppin', dogs? Doing good, man. Happy to be on Spade TV, baby. All right, how I feel being in New York? Feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? I always had a lot of love from the boys on the street in New York. You know, um, even at times when we didn't have like major media support and you know magazines and TV and all that kind of thing. Whenever we go out to the city and go into the boroughs and the Lower East Side of Manhattan and things like that, man, you know. We hit Queensbridge, we hit Left Rag, we hit that's you know Staten Island, we hit uh, New Rochelle, Brooklyn, Queen, you know, uh, you know, we go up town to Harlem, and everywhere we went, man, you know, the, the man on the street showed us love, and that's really who we concerned about, you know, we know at some point in magazines and stuff they'll catch up eventually, but it's important to make sure we connect with the street in the hood. Okay, okay. How's the weather out there in Texas? It's cool, man. Um, you know, um, got a little cold front going right now, but when I left home, man, the high was like 83 degrees already. So it's going down. We don't see that up here until <laughs> until July 4th. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, tell us a little bit about the album For Life. The new album is called, of course, For Life, like you just said. Um, it's the final studio album from UGK. Um, being stores March 31st. Um, probably the single most thing I've ever been proud of outside of my family. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as any work I've done, you know what I'm saying? This is probably the most... Um, important thing I've ever had the you know privilege of being associated with, and um, you know I, I gave everything I could to the process. You know what I'm saying? As far as time, as far as energy, you know what I'm saying, and the, the expense, everything I could put into this album, I put into it. And like I said, I'm proud of the end result. You know what I'm saying? And proud of the support that I got. You know, not just from the label, but from everybody that contributed to the album. And you know, and the streets holding me up. You know, supporting me while I was doing the album, man. And I think. I think this is, you know, we going out with a bang with this one. Okay. Name some um, producers and featured artists you work with on the project. Um, of course, we, um, you know, work with um, the protégés of Pimp C. A lot of the production on this album was done by producers that Pimp had been working with and um, personally trying to guide through the industry for the past 10 years. So you have production on there by Corey Moe from Houston. You have production on there by Steve Belo from Dallas. And then you have production from DJ Beto and from the production team Averex, and both of them are from Port Arthur, Texas, where we from. So this was just Pimp, you know, um, which a lot of them, in fact, everybody that I just named also co-produced with Pimp C on the last UGK album. So these were people he was already working with to, to start handing over a lot of the production duties too. Uh, we also got a track from uh, Manny Fresh. Okay. Um, he produced this track called The Pimp and the Bun featuring Ronald Isley on it. Not a sample, because a lot of cats say they featuring somebody, but it's a sample. Ronald Isley is actually singing on the record. And um, and we got a song produced and uh, featuring Akon. Okay, so those are just the two main features you guys got on the album? No, nah, no. Nah, um, like I said, Manny's just producing. Manny's not even, I mean, just singing. Ron Isley singing and, and uh, Akon is, is doing the hook and he also has like a little bridge. But we also got Raheem Devon on the album, uh, Two Shorts on the album. Snoop Dogg, E-40, Be Legit, 8-Ball, MJG, uh, Boosie, Webby, and Big Gip from the Goody Mob. Okay, okay. Now, how many tracks is, is, um, is Pimp C on? Pimp C's on every track. You did put down before his passing. Mm -hmm. You don't know, like us on the outside, we don't know how much material that he had put down. Is there more material other than uh, this? Yeah, yeah. The, the estate, um, which is controlled by his wife, okay. um, they're putting together a solo album. There's a solo album from Pimp C that comes out after this as well. Um, so um, I'm not sure the extent to how much, but we had more than enough music to put together this UGK album as well as his next solo project. Uh, another question was, how tough is it on you as far as being UGK without Pimp C? Well, you know, UGK has always been bigger than me and Pimp. We realized a long time ago that, that this movement belonged to the people. And, you know, in times where I didn't feel like you know, the game discouraged me, you know what I'm saying? The people in Pimp kept me uplifted. When the game discouraged Pimp C, me and the people kept me uplifted. And now, right now, to me, my partner in UGK is the fans, the supporters, you know what I'm saying? So, when something, should something happen to me at some point in time, then it's gonna be up to the people to keep the legacy going. But they've been the ones to help us create this legacy. They're helping me, as an individual, maintain the legacy. So, um, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't do it without the people, and I wouldn't do it without the people. 
So in future projects, we can expect another Bun B? Oh yeah, there's a new Bun B album coming out and this summer it's called The Trilogy, AKA The Trilogy, cause it's gonna be my third solo album. And um, but I'm not gonna, like I haven't started, everybody asking who's on, I haven't started nothing cause I didn't want uh, nothing of what I was doing to get in the way and interfere with the UGK business cause we all understand this is the top priority right now. This is the most Man, uh, But like me, I'm trying to show my logo. So okay. Jerry getting away with this shit. This is, this, this is a logo <laughs> for, for the clothing line um, amongst friends. My partner, most nature Mike doing good for, yeah. amongst friends. That's what it is. Make sure you get that right there. Awesome boys to deliver, baby. You know, I, you know it, I'm, I represent UGK. It's, it's, it's a lot of subtext to that. Cross the borders to deliver. Yes, you know? Um. I feel that even though this could probably go a lot further, I don't see it going go, going further than where it's going now, benefiting either party. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing anybody can do about that. This is the real world, man. People don't get along. Yeah. If regular niggas on the street had YouTube channels and outlets to air a niggas out, niggas would be getting aired out every five minutes. No, baby daddies, baby mamas, all everybody be getting boss man. Yeah. Everybody be getting aired out, you know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that these people have an issue and they have an outlet to express their views and their feelings about the issue. But I, that shit ain't going nowhere because it's not going nowhere in real life. And hip hop is nothing but a reflection and a mirror up to real life. So if it's going down on the street, which conflict between individuals happen every second, then it's going to happen in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And, like I say, as long as it stays at the music, you know what I'm saying, I don't see why anybody should have a problem with it. It's, you know, when, when you have a conflict, it's going to be a winner and a loser. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But if they both sell records and, you know, and your pride ain't on the line, your ego ain't on the line, at the end of the day, you end up making money and nobody got hurt, I don't see why anybody should have a problem. Definitely. Um, I don't know, probably cornballs. <laughs> That sound like a good. That sound like a good name for a cartoon. That's what it is. That's what it is. You think one day we could get you on uh, my cartoon? What's your cartoon called? It's called Madman the Drunk Reporter. Absolutely. All right, cool. I'm, I'm gonna be on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be on the second episode of um, Trey the Truth's cartoon series that he got online. All right, cool. So be looking for that. Shout out to Trey. Definitely. We gonna get Bubby's. Bubby's gonna be on Madman the Drunk Reporter, dog. That's what I'm talking about, man. Um, Yo, what's up? This your boy Bum B repping UGK for life. The king of the trill is in the building with Spade TV, baby. You're logged on, so feel free to stay trill.